Welcome back Wolfpack, Verlus here with more Fan Fridays and this time it's a battle from Kyle. So I like the idea that could potentially unfold right here. That we have Fake Out on Infernape, so that just means free setup potential for the Superior and then just lots of damage and shenanigans from there. So anything's possible really. And now we get to see Hitmontop with the Glaceon. The opponent might be up to something though. We always gotta respect what the opponent could be up to and that is going to be the Intimidate. Infernape going to lose a bit of attack, Superior going to gain it because the contrary, but I don't think it really matters. And that's going to be the Eject button on Hitmontop. That's a thing. And that's going to be Crobat coming in. So Crobat going to really threaten everyone in this situation. And Leaf Storm on a Crobat not going to do any damage, but the special attack boost does come in. So now we have to see how this ends up playing out. Life Orb on the Superior. More damage, more risk. But yeah, that eject button might actually mean something because yeah, Crobat can just choose whoever it wants to and get a lot of damage onto that. But the hail going to cost some damage on a Crobat. However, Blizzard from the Glaceon, definitely something to respect. So now we're going to see how the opponent ends up playing it out. I think the opponent's best bet is hitting the Infernape. That way Glaceon doesn't get blown up because fighting and fire against an ice type, yikes. So that could be pretty serious and Infernape. Oh, the double switch, playing it extra safe, which is actually a really good play right there. And then Salamence comes into the battle. So Salamence face checking the Blizzard? I don't know if that's what you want to do though. So Crobat has that Brave Bird and it looks like it's going to go on to the Salamence. Big hit on the Salamence from that Crobat. And then there's going to be Glaceon with that Blizzard. So yeah. The face check onto that, probably not something you want to do is my guess. And we are going to lose Salamence for it. But I mean, like the opponent's comp just actually out comps in almost every way. This is one of those things where it's like, you just kind of lose because Glaceon and Crobat are going to have advantage against a lot of your team. Like Infernape, well, ooh, unless the Crobat has that inner focus though. Oh, Crobat with the quick guard. So it's going to make it to where Fake Out doesn't do anything and Bullet Punch doesn't do anything. Oh my goodness, this is just abs- yeah, this is out comp, just absolutely shut down. So that's going to be a free Blizzard from the Glaceon. Scissor's- Scissor's going to get 4 shot by this. While that might not sound like a lot, damage is getting chipped in. And that's something we're going to have to deal with. So, Crobat, Quick Guard, and then we just get to see, like, the Brave Bird. That's going to finish off Infernape. So, Bullet Punch is going to hit Crobat. Actually, Crobat is going to go down, so good call on that Bullet Punch. And Close Combat is going to turn it around on the Glacial. Whew. Man. What? Oh my goodness, this Glacial is just going to sweep. So, Infernape, oh, barely going to survive. And Caesar are going to survive as well. Infernape taking damage from that hail. So, Infernape has one more turn because that hail. Caesar also getting chipped away. But this Glacial has had enough time to set up its own hail and then get just blizzard for days. Now Intimidate going to lower Caesar's power, going to lower Infernape's power, and Hitmontop is going to fake out. So fake out, that's going to not be enough to knock out Caesar, and Caesar's going to flinch for it. Infernape's going to throw out the overheat, but the overheat going to hit Hitmontop. So uh, I'm trying to figure out, maybe not a lot of respect on that fake out. Overheat kind of the only option to take out the Glaceon, and then the blizzard is going to finish it off right there. So, this could get interesting because now we're in a position to where Superior can turn this one around. And I, mean, I can see that. So, Hail's going to stop, and Superior is just going to get that outspeed and a free setup onto the Glaceon. Hitmontop isn't known for its damage, it's going to protect, anyways, and that's just going to be the Leaf Storm free double special attack on the Glaceon. So, I mean, the comeback might be pretty real right now. That's going to be Superior with the Snowball, and this is a Pokemon that you definitely have to respect all the time. But yeah, like, it still has a lot of natural tankiness, but Stoutland, oh boy. Anything's possible right now. That could be a Protect Last Resort Stoutland, so everything has to go right here. But if you predict that Protect, good job right there. You predicted the Protect. Stoutland's only going to do a couple of things, and it's going to be that Protect Last Resort. So the special attack is going to go up from finishing the hit on top. And things are about to get pretty real right here. Stoutland might have a Focus Sash, and that's going to be a Leaf Storm. So plus four on that Leaf Storm going to go and one shot the Stoutland, and that is going to be the GG. So I wonder if my guys had anything to do with this battle. You know, maybe the opponent was trying the Protect 
into the fake out or not fake out protect last resort on the Stoutland but also we do have superior that you know if uh, Kyle obviously a fan of the videos might have just seen it coming and made, made the right play because I mean you might have seen oh Stoutland could be more of a threat gets protect absorbed and then things could have gone pretty bad from there uh, the light, uh, focus ash might have meant something but it would probably life orb for max amounts of damage so yeah superior in the 1v3 bringing it back for Kyle and superior is OP. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we have just a few more Fan Fridays left this week, and I hope you guys get ready to watch them.